These were some of 2023's worst destinations for over-tourism. Here's how to avoid the crowds next year, following several years of pandemic-induced downturn, the travel sector is not only back, it's positively booming. According to the World Travel Tourism Council, the industry is expected to bring in some $9.5 trillion in 2023, which accounts for 95% of its pre-pandemic levels. Nowhere is this surge more evident than at popular tourist hot spots around the world, many of which have experienced record visitor numbers over the past year. Such surges may be sweet for local economies and hospitality businesses' bottom line, but they also come with notable downsides, increased noise. Pollution, traffic and strain on public resources, a lower quality of life for locals, and a diminished visitor experience, just to name a few, not surprisingly, many tourist magnets across the globe, including several European hubs, have created initiatives and restrictions aimed to combat over-tourism issues. Among them, new or increased tourist taxes, campaigns aimed at discouraging problematic visitors and attendance caps at popular attractions, on the bright side, more travelers seem to be aware of the risks of over-tourism, and how they can help alleviate the problem. In a 2022 survey by travel booking site Booking.com, 64% of respondents said they would be prepared to stay away from busy tourist sites to avoid adding to congestion. And 31% said they'd even be willing to choose an alternative to their preferred destination to help avoid overcrowding. On that front, here's a look at some of the most